Welcome to the grand reveal of our custom closet edition. In the canyons of scenic loop. One interesting note about this project is that our client wanted this all along when they originally built their home several years ago. Yep, and that can happen during a custom home build. You can get design fatigue. And they did, and they wanted to make sure that they had enough energy to put into her special closet oasis, which is what she called us for. We were brought in to build this beautiful closet oasis for her that she could come in and relax in, get ready in the mornings, make this a space of her own in her house, and relax when she came home from work but not make it too much on the other side where it was too fancy, too stuffy, like a store. So Marshall. we really brought that to her with the design and we're really proud of it. Yeah, this is a really a closet suite mm -hmm. and it offered several challenges. The first thing we try to do when, we, when I meet a client is what space can we use already and convert? But yeah. there really wasn't an option in this particular project. No. because of the location of the primary bedroom and bathroom and it also had a challenge and it was in very close proximity to the property line uh, setback actually the mm -hmm. setback line but it was grandfathered so that worked out well <laughs> and we didn't want to get into a big structure that encompassed the entire metal roof line it's because those metal roofs change color over time if you can keep it separate you don't notice the difference so it helps with the the project economies if we can cascade this down and that's exactly what this project looked best having different areas of the home already having these levels we were able to complement that look with another level and we were also able to do something that we don't do very often which is a suspended pier and beam foundation yeah on top of steel columns and steel beams. And they look awesome. And it really turned out to be a nice aesthetic. Yeah. Architecturally, in every way, it complements the deck, which is already giving them a beautiful suspended deck with a great view. So those were some of the challenges that we had in here that we really enjoyed accomplishing that turned out beautiful. Yeah. So despite the architectural challenges, the real challenges came in the interior design side, which I know you spent a lot of time doing. Yes, I mean, that's the whole reason for this project was what's on the inside. So everything in this closet is custom and we started with the custom cabinets. And so we were able to create all the space that she needed and give her all of that by some closed and hidden spaces and some display areas like for her really nice purses and shoes. We also did that by doing custom full length mirrored doors so that way she could have most, most of her clothes hidden away and she didn't have to walk in and feel like she was walking into a closet, she was walking into her spa. Then we created the colors. So we selected something that was still matching the rest of the house just like the architecture. We had to coordinate with the home. So they have a lot of creams and browns so that was what we did with the cream cabinets with the oil rubbed bronze glazed cabinet doors and drawers and that turned out really nice. Mm -hmm. But we also offset it a little bit with adding the touches of black with the hardware and the chandelier and the mirrors and the pendants and that kind of gave it a little bit more of a modern edge and a little bit of a glamour. So the last thing that we selected, which I really think brought it all together, was this gorgeous granite countertop. It has some glamour with some sparkle in it that reflects from the chandelier. And then it also has the cream colors from the cabinets and also a little bit of green from the carpet. So I really, really love this countertop that we selected. It I was stunning. I can't imagine a better one for bringing everything together. And everywhere you look in here, you get that little glimmer. Yeah, and we really like how we made this purposefully an accent part. So it's not a countertop throughout the whole space. It's not a kitchen, this is a closet. So we purposely put wood tops on parts of the areas to make the countertop be a focal point, but also still functional like she wanted. So the other thing that we had to do is we had to tie into the existing primary bathroom. You can actually see into the closet from the bathroom. So we had to make sure that it flowed. 
We deleted their linen cabinet, so what we did was at the bottom of the staircase, we gave them some more cabinetry that they could use for the things that they originally stored there. But we leveled it up a little bit and we put a wine refrigerator and a coffee bar there. So they both have access to it. He doesn't have to enter into the closet to get his coffee, but she can still get it. So they really love that. I like that it's usable from both areas, mm -hmm. either from the, the spa closet or from the bathroom, yeah. the area that they use more often. And it really sets a statement when you walk down in this area and you see that area, it tells you what you're about to see. But the ultimate mark for success is how the client feels about it during and after the project. Yep. And as far as during goes, I know we got high marks for the fact that we had a temporary door in the corner yep. that allowed all the work to be done, almost all of it. We had more than three quarters of the work done through that temporary door. Yeah, it was we almost crazy. Brought in all the cabinetry, <laughs> all the painting was done, of course the finishes, the electrical, everything, except for the final carpeting and mm -hmm. the countertops and that was only a few weeks of that. Yep. I remember the, our client even said how once we had to break into the home and realize all of the construction and all the people having to come into their front door, how would we have done it? She was like, I'm so glad y'all did that. We're so impressed. That made such a difference to us. Oh yeah, they were even able to take vacation, felt comfortable leaving because we weren't getting into the main home. Nope, we didn't even have a key to their house at that point. <laughs> A good point later on down the road in the project, as far as project management goes, our client said, I know that we're not the only clients that our project manager, David, has is working with right now, but we feel like we, we are, are his only client. Yep. That's a huge compliment. And we're so impressed with our team that we've put together and trained to make every client feel like that. And it makes a huge difference. In, to the whole overall experience because how we do it during the project does affect how they feel afterwards. And she wanted to come in and have good memories of this and that was accomplished. I came in to check on the project right as it was ending and she's just sitting on her couch planning her Thanksgiving meal. I was like, what you doing? Just relaxing in my spa. And she's got the lights turned down to 75% on the dimmer and she has got her essential oils and spa music playing. And I mean, I wanted to fall asleep in here and she said she does take her naps. And her husband says he can't get her off of this side of the house because this is her place. And creating that dream place for her, seeing her do that was just mission accomplished. It was really Didn't awesome. Did she say that she wants to get up earlier to enjoy it more? Yes, she just like, it's hard for her to leave for work now, so she needs more time to enjoy it. That's awesome. <laughs> Creating this project was such a privilege. I agree. Every team involved, from the architectural design team, the interior design team, the cabinetry design team, to the in-house build team, all had so much fun making this come to fruition. It truly was a privilege. Thank you.